Hello, good morning class. This is Jason Kano, your instructor in thesis writing. So in this video, I'm going to teach you on how to compute the frequency and the percentage. I am going to discuss on how to compute the frequency and the percentage. Okay. So let's start with the frequency and we will have an example as one of the indicator the age. So again the total population of the respondents are 30. This is the small letter N which means a sample size. So you have 30 total of your respondents. So if we will add the 20 years old, 20 to 29 years old, 30 to 39 years old, 39 years old and above, the total here is 30. So again, 2 plus 19 plus 7 plus 2 is 30. Okay. So the question is how to compute the percentage. So it is very simple. We will just divide the 2. 2 over 30 again the 2 is uh, coming from the 20 years old again there are 2 respondents who are 20 years old so 20 over 30 again the 30 is coming from the total respondents okay total respondents so if we will compute 2 divided by 30 times 100 because percentage is 100 so the answer is 6.6666 till 7 so run off in the two decimal points so 6 beyond or 5 up we will uh, run off so it will become 6.67 so you can observe here 6.67 so same procedure for 20 to 29 years old 19 divided by 30 again the 19 is coming from the 20 to 29 years old it means that there are 19 respondents who have this age bracket 20 to 29 years old so 19 divided by 30 which is the total number of respondents so we will use the calculator 19 divided by 30 times 100 so we have 63.33 so as you can observe here the answer is 63.33 so if we will add all of this we will have a total of 100 percent which means there uh, the computation having this total number of respondents which is 30 so we will try 6.67 that is for 20 years old 6.67 plus 63.33 plus 23.30 plus 6.67 so the total is 99.97 so if it is the case you are lacking of um, 3 here 0.3 on the decimal so you will just choose among all of these to add 3 so we will try with this the third one 7 divided by 30 times 100 
23.33 so this is wrong they have 23.30 so the answer here or you need to put 23.33 okay so this is wrong so we will compute now the total again 6.67 plus 63.33 plus 23.33 again this is wrong this is not 30 it's 33 plus 6.67 so the total is 100%. So that's the process on how to compute the percentage. Okay, same with the other indicators. Again, for example, here in the educational attainment, 1 divided by 30 times 100. So the answer is 3.30. So after you have computed here on the percentage part you need to double check you need to add make sure that the total is 100 percent and you need also to double check here it must be 30 okay so you must compute here the total respondents it must be 30 before you will proceed to the computation of the percentage and then after after you have computed all the percentage you need to double check again if it is hundred percent so this is the process or the steps on how to compute the percentage thank you